Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Filipina Dyer here. It's the 17th of January 2019. So in today's video guys, I will be discussing about how we apply for a tourist visa to go to China. You cannot travel overseas without a passport and of course, if you have a passport, your passport should be valid more than six months. Kasi yung pag five months na siya guys, yung valid na passport mo is you need to apply for a new passport because the country wouldn't let you in if your passport is only valid for five months. So, kailangan mo siyang mag Make sure guys that you need to check your expiry date of your passport before applying for any visa or flying overseas. This is yung application form, yung ating tourist application form. So in Chinese guys, meron silang category. So the category nila guys is letter A uh, letters. So yung tourist visa guys is yung category uh, yung letters niya is letter L. So that's what you for uh, you what that's what you're looking is the letter L. And then what you're going to do what we did guys is we fill up the, the form online because we're allowed to fill up the form online and it's very very clean siya guys than hand bra hand right. So, yun ang ginawa namin guys is pinilapan namin yung aming tourist uh, application online and then print namin then and then uh, nag-sign kami kasi meron kailangan mo mag-sign doon. Ang ayat uh, saka yung sinabit namin pala guys is so uh, yung aming uh, ticket because you need to have the ticket kasi gusto nilang uh, yung Chinese embassies gusto nilang malaman kung kailan ka babalik sa iyong country. So, yung ticket namin and then yung hotel uh, hotel accommodation. Kasi gusto din malaman kung saan ka magsistay while, uh, while you'll be in China. And of course, yung kailangan is for me because I'm here in Australia. So, I need to submit a proof of legal status here. So, if you have a visa guys, ano kung ano yung, uh, kung meron kayong visa guys. So, you need to submit that included to your application form because uh, kaila kasi kayo gusto nilang malaman kung ano po talaga yung legal status mo dito sa Australia. And next guys is you need to print the mail application list. If meron na kayo, if nag-gather na ninyo all, if nag-gather na ninyo all of the documents guys is you have this one, the, the, the mail application list. Kasi kailangan mo silang ititip dito kung anong, nalag, anong requirements na uh, sinabit mo. At saka meron ding sign dito at saka date. So, yun lang siya guys. So, ang, 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 ang sa halimbawa ito guys, yung, yung sinabit namin guys is yung aking uh, uh, visa here in Australia, among tickets, accommodation, then yung photo, for, uh, password photographs, then the passport, at saka application form, at saka yung payment. So, you have to, uh, you, you have to, uh, to download as well the payment authorization form. Kailangan niyo mag-fill uh, up the nag-payment authorization form and then you will include that to your documents if you're ready to submit to the embassy in uh, 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 Chinese embassy near to your place. So dahil nandito kami sa uh, nandito kami sa nandito kami sa Queensland guys. So sinend namin yung aming documents sa consulate in Brisbane. So yung ginawa namin guys is we send our documents by post. So Yung babayaran guys, meron silang uh, meron silang mga prices dito. So I print this one as well. So we paid 131.50 cents kasi mail yun sa uh, mail kasi yung uh, pag pag submit namin guys. At saka yun yun so yung binayaran is 131.5 uh, dollar. Yung payment mo guys is ilalagay mo lang yung mga uh, details ng banko and then i-deduct nila yan. At saka yun lang siya guys. At saka, pag nandun na kayo sa ano guys, pag nandun na kayo sa post office, yung kailangan nyo gawin is you really need, uh, they will tell you sa pag na-print yung ano requirements, uh, requirement of tourist visa requirements to, to China. So, I print that one out so that I will know, and so that I know which documents and what documents that I need to gather and put to my output and my application. So, one of the documents as well there guys is they will tell you that you need to buy I envelope, a registered envelope, uh, envelope from the post office kasi once na ma-receive na nila guys ang iyong application and then once na ma-approve na nila or ano, uh, ano ma-approve nila yung application mo kasi ilalagay mo din yung passport mo guys isi-send mo din siya sa included sa iyong application form so ang ginawa nila guys is a-attach lang nila yung iyong approval ang iyong approval ng iyong Chinese tourist visa sa iyong passport to, to, to buy a registered post office 
uh, envelope kasi dito nila ilalagay yung passport mo pabalik sa yung and then you can check your passport as well uh, you can check your uh, parcel as well so it's more safe guys now bibili kayo ng parcel a uh, registered parcel from the post office Kasi this one is the the one this is the really recommended one the parcel from the uh, the post office kasi kailangan talaga siya guys so yun lang po yung aming sinabit guys so i will elaborate you again of what we submitted uh, sa aming tourist visa guys is first is passport then passport photographs which should be affixed to your application form then application form guys tickets hotel accommodation payments and my proof of legal status here in Australia. So, yun lang po yung aming mga documents na sinamit guys and then we lodge our uh, application on the 3rd of January na receive nila guys on the 6th of January and then in 2 days time guys, na grant na yung aming visa. So, only took 2 days na grant na yung aming uh, Chinese tourist visa and then na receive namin yung aming pars, uh, yung aming uh, parcel on the 16th. So, natagalan siya guys kasi malayo nga kami guys kaya natagalan yung pag-deliver sa parcel namin. But anyway, we're so happy because we got our visa approved and we're really, really, really excited for our trip to China. And then, I will share you what we're gonna be doing in China on my next video guys. So, hope you enjoyed this video and hope you learned something about applying for a tourist visa leave your comment down below and then i will answer you as soon as I, uh, as soon as possible and if you like this video guys and please give me a thumbs up and then we'll see you in my next video guys bye